Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see ASME Section 8, Division 1, Subsection A, UG 98. What will be the MAWP if static head is present? We have all these courses available on our Thinkific platform. To learn more about these courses, register with the link given in the description. What if there is static head, how that scenario will change. No? So now let us consider a pressure vessel. Okay, uh, this is a vertical. There is no head and oh, it's complete. There can be a four segment of shells. Okay, this is of uh, one one meter. So total height is four meter. Okay, from here to here, we have four meter height. Each shell segment is of one meter so if i use water as a liquid it will generate a static head of around 0 0.01 mpa okay you can calculate static head with rho gh okay so roughly 0 0.01 mpa each segment will create so same for here also same for this segment also in the top segment, there is no liquid. So liquid is there only up to 3 meter height. Okay. Now, okay. This is what we discussed. 1, 1 meter segment. And if we add all the static head. So first static head of 1 meter, 0 0.01. Right. Let me just clear the drawing. So this will be 0 0.01. This total height is 2 meters, so it will be 0 0.02 and this will be 0 0.03 MPA of static head. Guys, any confusion in this static head? Or it is clear? No confusion, right? Great. Okay, thank you. So there is a pressure vessel with 4 meter height in the top most segment there is no static head only three meter there is static head so this is how the static pressure will be created you know at the bottom most there will be highest pressure because it will experience the pressure of all the three segments so 0.3 mpa 0.2 and 0.1 okay now what is next so if my pressure vessel you know like if i calculated the mawp without considering any static head and that is 2.04 this is the mawp of my component now what mawp will become for this vessel if i'm talking about this complete vessel what will be the mawp 2.04 minus static head. So total static head is 0 0.03. So 2.01 will be my MAWP. Now, why that is changing, guys? Why that maximum pressure taking capability reduced because of having static head? So the maximum pressure taking capability was 2.04 until now it was connected to thickness once we add static head static head is also influencing you know it the maximum pressure taking capability of this vessel reduced to 2.01 why is that how that maximum pressure taking capability of the vessel can change any thought? See, if we explain it as a, you know, it's maximum pressure taking capability of a pressure vessel, how it should change with, in terms of static head? Static head contributes that internal pressure, very rightly said Manshu. So see what is happening, you know, that pressure taking capability is still the same actually. It's not change. See, pressure taking capability where we are measuring, that is the important point. So, if we are 
measuring that pressure taking capability at the topmost part okay where we will be applying the pressure this is the zone where that pressure will be applied right whatever pressure we are talking about so that will be applied here so if i'm applying 2.01 here this topmost part will see that 2.01 this part will see 2.02 this part will see 2.03 this part will see 2.04 okay so finally this is the part you know which has already some pressure applied on it okay Point zero three pressure is already applied what additional i can apply is 2.01 is it making sense now if we uh, if we see in terms of pressure taking capability right uh, this top most part can take pressure of 2.04 mpa right this part can take little less pressure because the 0 0.01 is already applied because of static okay and this will be little less this will be 2.01 so now what Ever is the maximum taking pressure capability of the whole components, the list will become the MAWP of the complete vessel. So now this, because we know the working, right? And the MAWP is always linked with the working condition. That is how MAWP and MAP are different. I'll talk about MAP. Okay. So MAWP is always linked with maximum allowable working. We are talking about working condition. In working condition, there has to be static head. Okay. So once that static head is there, we know that this much static head is going to come. So this much pressure is already going to be there. So what additionally I can apply is only 2.01. So that becomes our MAWP. Okay, so I hope that is clear at the top pressure should be 2.01 and bottom, bottom yeah if we are applying at the top it, the pressure is 2.01 so there is difference in pressure and pressure taking capability so in the top pressure taking capability is more because it does not have any static head but what I'll be what I can apply is only 2.01 because if I apply 2.01, at the bottom, I will experience 2.04. If I apply 2.02, it will become 2.05, which is not the pressure which this part can take. Okay. Great. So now, still, if you have some confusion, I'll further, you know, little bit will explain. So this we already saw. What will be the MWP? Because of static head, that MWP for this part, 2.04, 2.03, 2.02, 2.01. Right. Now, the, if we have different elements and different pressure taking capability, you may have sometime issue that what, why that minimum is considered for MWP? Why 2.01 is considered as the maximum pressure taking capability rather than 2.04? So to explain that, I'll give you a very simple example. Okay, I have a two-ton capacity chain. You know, it, it can lift a load of two ton. Okay. Now there is one link which has damaged, and it has only it can take only load up to one ton. So what weight I can lift with this chain, guys? The chain was having capacity of two ton, but one link got damaged and it has now capacity only of one ton. I can take maximum one ton, right? I can lift maximum one ton weight because this is my weakest link. If I, even though all of these are stronger because of only one link, because of only one link, the total capacity has reduced okay now here 
just one more point I will highlight is that it's it's the next you no know, many times we struggle that uh, when we see in PV light a comment like this whole MAWP of this vessel is limited by this component, right? So it is related to that. If this is the chain, you know, and you are the owner of that fabrication shop, now you have two options. One is to re-rate this chain as one ton capacity chain. The second option is to change this link with a new one of having two ton capacity. What will be your choice? Whether you will take this chain and read it as one ton because of that one ton capacity or you'll change that link, that small link which is there of you know, very long chain. As a, you know, there's nothing right or wrong in this, but you know, yes, most of us will like to change this small link, right? Instead of re-rating, because this another purchasing a two-ton chain might be really costly, rather than just changing this small link with a new one, right? That makes sense, right? So that is what happens in pressure vessel. If my pressure vessel maximum pressure taking capability is limited by pad. Okay, many times we'll see that reinforcement pad is limiting my MAWP. So what you will do, whether you will re-rate your pressure vessel for lower pressure or you like to increase that strength of that pad. What will be your choice? To increase the pad thickness, right? And hence the increasing the MAWP. Okay, you'll not like to limit your pressure vessel with that small you know, pad cost is almost nothing, right? We already have that material. Okay, we don't need to buy even you know, most of the time. So just change that. Increase the reinforcement. Okay. Next uh, thing you can get is that many times you'll get this uh, issue that this flange is standard flange is limiting that MIW. So if one standard flange is limiting that MAWP, what you will prefer, whether you like to rate that pressure vessel for that flange, or you will take the higher rating flange and try to limit that major component. You know? Like in this case, these are the major components apart from link. So I'll try to reuse this, you know, use the strength to the maximum capability, right? So instead of re-rating my vessel at lower pressure saying that my MAWP is only this much I'll change that flange I'll take the higher rating flange because flange rating wise cost if you'll see is very nominal okay. and your huge cost you are spending on the shell descents you know so why to just limit because of that flange right so I hope it is making sense guys great so I hope this point I have made it clear. Uh, what should be the MWP? Now about if you are confused with why static head is limiting my MWP, in that case, let us think about that there is a crane or a chain link with a capacity of two ton, and there is a very huge hook which is required to lift a job. Okay, so there is a very huge hook which is attached with that chain. Imanshu, you can uh, note your question. We'll take that once we complete. Okay, hope that's okay with you. So, if the chain link uh, with two ton capacity and there is hook with 0.1 ton weight, the weight itself is of 0.01 ton. And this arrangement is required to lift a component. How much weight you can lift with this? Absolutely right, Amar, Himanshu. I can lift only 1.9, right? Even though so the, this chain capacity has not changed, 
only what has changed is that 0.1 ton is already lifted. So that is what is happening with the static head. If you have already applied some pressure, so what above you can apply because the total 2.04 is constant. Okay. If you have already applied some pressure, the difference you can apply further. So if you have already attached some weight, only the remaining you can use to lift. Okay, so I have tried to, uh, you know, uh, with your different questions, I have tried to compile and create these PPT to answer your, you know, all your queries. Okay. Great. I hope you understood this part. Stay tuned with us. Please do watch our video where we have explained MAWP without static head.